What's up guys? Jason Church here at the Unicode Training Center. In this video, we'll be talking about adjusting the airflow on the ST2 blowers with the single speed PSC motor. As you probably know by now with Unico, airflow is critical. So be sure to set the airflow after ensuring a tightly sealed duct system is in place and ready to run. You maybe want to check the airflow when troubleshooting the air conditioning or the heat pump system or if there's been any changes made in the duct system, like additional outlets have been installed. So let's just jump right to it. So I'm standing here with the standard ST2 blower and we're going to adjust the airflow. All you need is a voltmeter with an amp clamp. On the side of the blower cabinet, you're going to see a chart giving you the CFM being delivered depending on the voltage and the amperage. Remember, the faster the motor spins, the higher the amp draw. So if you slow the motor down, the amp draw will decrease. The first thing we need to know is the size of the outdoor unit. We have here the M2430BL1-ST2 which is used with a two to two and a half ton outdoor unit. In this example, we're gonna assume that the outdoor unit is a two ton. Now based on 250 CFM a ton, our target is 500 CFM. So the first thing we'll do is verify the voltage. Go from L1 to L2. It's showing we have 213 volts. When we look at the chart on the yellow sticker on the side of the unit, we're going to use the column that's labeled 208 volts because that is the closest to 213 volts. So now we're going to select either L1 or L2 going to the blower motor. We're going to put the amp clamp around that wire. And now we're going to check the amp draw. So we're going to give the unit a call. The fan should be running right at 1.2 amps. Now we're going to start opening that restricted plate where we can get up to 2 amps. So as you see as we open it up, it jumps up pretty quick. Right at 1.7, 1.8, 1.9 amps, and right at 2. So now we're at 500 CFM. After setting your airflow, make sure you tighten up these two screws so your restricted plate does not move and then tape up around the ductwork to make sure it's airtight. So that's how you adjust the airflow on the ST2 single speed blower. Remember to increase the CFM, the amp draw must also increase by opening that restricted plate. To decrease, close the restricted plate. Here's an additional troubleshooting tip. If the restricted plate is open all the way and the amp draw is still too low, the duct system is restricted either from the main plenum being too small or there are not enough outlets. To prove this theory, disconnect the duct from the blower and try again. The amp draw should climb being that there is no restriction. If the motor still won't ramp up, check the capacitor. For now, my name is Jason Church, National Training with Unico. See you soon. For more information, check out our technical site at tech.unicosystem.com. Also, look us up on Facebook and YouTube. If you want to talk to a live person, call our customer service team at 800-527-0896, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. through 5 p.m. Central Time.